So now we're going to go through the funnel types real quick. And it, just to kind of like set this up again, where this comes from, um, 9 a.m. I'm sorry, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. I was I was working in Russell's office. That's actually his desk. <laughs> I thought it looked better than mine. I worked on a picnic table, kind of like Austin does right now, <laughs> in my home office. I was on a picnic table in that first office of his for a long time, and uh, the desk was too high and the chair was too short. So I got like crazy back pain all the time. My arms are a little longer than they're supposed to be, so it was really weird. Like, <laughs> and uh, that's how I built. That's how I built all my first stuff. And then I worked for Russell from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then I'd go back from about midnight, I'm sorry, 9 p.m. to midnight. And I told myself, like, are you willing to feel a little pain? I was like, Whew. all right, yeah. I was like, really imagine it. All right, I'm ready. It's so like, you only sleep from midnight to five every day for the next year. I was like, all right, so that's what I did. And then I'd go back in and at 6 a.m. and uh, got it done. That's my wife and I folding Dream 100 packets together. That's actually the office. You can't even tell now. There's so much stuff in there. But uh, <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, so that's, uh, these are the forms that I created to plan that first course and I went through Russell's stuff that first 12 years. This was the result of that. Shut up, Siri. All right, and then... It was a lot of stuff that we went through and I was like, let's go make a course. I'll start organizing it. And a lot of what we went through and created is what I, uh, I'm sorry, a lot of what we taught is what I had put together in these sheets here. And um, uh, we did the fat events. Anyone of you come to the fat event at all? Okay, awesome. Yeah, yeah, you guys, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, uh, did you, was you guys, um, you hear about it though, right? The funnel hackathon event. Three days and the whole focus was to build the presentation funnel. Except, like I said, you were building the funnel and the slides and all the pieces. No way, you still have the fat booklet? I made that with food poisoning <laughs> on, our, on my bed. <laughs> it was because in three days, I was like, <laughs> anyway, no more details. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, haunted memories of that, that workbook right there. Uh, anyway, so this presentation funnel though, this is it. I'm going to walk you guys through it. 80% of you will likely fall on this funnel type. Okay? What it is, is it's previously known as the webinar. So on the first page, we have, um, we have secret one, two, and three. Does this ring a bell for anybody? Okay, so we have the registration page. It's the very first page over there. And uh, when they start to exit, there's a pop-up um, that actually lets them go and register. Um, this is what we're still using for my, my webinars. This is the type of funnel you guys are going to see me build in a moment uh, or plan for. My funnel team will go build it for me. Right, then the thank you page, like, thank you, you're confirmed. Do you want this other thing also? And we sell a lot of things called this, uh, this chat bot, uh, which I'll, I'll show you guys some of the video there in a moment, how we sell that. Um, then we go to the broadcast page. You guys following me? Yeah. Broadcast page right there. And then a replay, and then we get twice as many people to click on the replay email when we open a scroll bar replay, because now you can skip back to where you left off. That worked really, really well. And then there is uh, the purchase page, where we drop the actual offer, and then the entire stack slide right here on this page right here. Do we have a laser pointer? I don't know if we... Anyway. Um, and then uh, the last page is the confirmation page, and then that gives access to the members area. How many of you guys know you're doing that funnel type? Very powerful funnel type, okay? Very, very powerful. Um, the Secret MLM Hacks, uh, that's actually, it's crazy. This, this webinar, we're about to cross 800 grand with it. I haven't touched it in over a year and a half. We need to do a revamp of it. So <clears throat> the messaging, we have three of the most dangerous words on the planet as the title of this product, and it has flagged every bank, every Facebook ad, ad agency, every Facebook person and rep. It's like, so we're actually going to end it and revamp it and, and uh, rebrand the thing. But secret, MLM, and hack. <laughs> Don't call your LLC that either. My gosh, that's been rough. So <laughs> we're going to go revamp the whole thing. Like, what do you do? Like, oh, that's why we don't have an office yet. They're like double checking everything. Like, who are you? Like, we're scammers. We sell drugs and we're trafficking. All right. It's, you know what I mean? Like in their eyes, that's, they're protecting themselves. So oh, it's been rough. Anyways, that's the first funnel type. And that's the one that most of you guys will likely fit into. Um, this is a very powerful funnel type. And the reason is the length. We know that people will buy more the longer they sit with you. So if I'm doing an hour presentation, which you guys are going to watch me do tomorrow, you are way more likely to buy from me because you don't want to have lost the time that you spent sitting there. You're way more likely to buy from me than if you were sitting here for 10 minutes. So the length of the webinar is part of it. So we're telling stories and there's emotions behind it. 
Anyway, after they actually opt in, we go through, I went and I, I walked through five webinars of Russell's most highest grossing webinars and all of his follow-up sequences. So I took, I printed, so you guys have seen me do that? I printed on my floor all of the sequences <laughs> Uh, from those five webinars, and I started comparing them, and I made a, a master follow-up sequence, and it has been gold. So that's what we're also putting for you guys in there, too. So that's what this is. is um, the first thing we do is we drop out, hey, you just opted in, here's the link. Even though it forwards them there, we just send it to them again. Three hours after, uh, so we're going to build an automated webinar funnel for you. Um, the, uh, three hours after they opt in, we actually push them directly to the offer, not the replay. It was a big change of what I noticed Russell was doing. Whether or not you saw it, you want to buy? And a portion do. How many guys are like really easy buyers? <laughs> Me too, right? I order for them, I know what to do there, right? I just, I swear it's half the reason I know how to sell is because I know how to buy, right? There's a correlation there. So on the next email, so that three hour one right there, we send out the offer. And then the next one, 12 hours later, we'll send out a replay email. Oh, I finally got the replay uploaded. Go ahead and click here. They click on that replay link and it takes them up there. And then on the next one, 24 hours later, um, that's the story number two with testimonials and such. It's a scroll bar replay. We take them to a different page and we just need another logical reason to email them. So what we say to them is like, hey, good news. So many guys have asked. We have a scroll bar replay, meaning I know some of you guys have watched this. I don't want you to rewatch what we already watched. Go ahead and click here. The, the numbers have always held true. It's almost almost always double the clicks that the replay email gets, the scroll bar replay. So that's why we do that. Next one is uh, lots of testimonials with your third story. And then we do a 40, uh, 45 hours, we do a disappearing offer. I used to do three day follow-up sequences, too long, they forget. Then I moved down to one day, too fast, couldn't talk to spouse. And then now it's two days. That's why we do 48 hours like that, yeah? Final transition we're making here soon is we're gonna be adding in a 60-day follow-up sequence. Whew. I've noticed a lot of uh, other people are starting to do that um, in the webinar space. Uh, Trey Llewellyn right now is getting another two to three dollars per ad spend in the 60-day follow-up sequence. So he closes cart and then he soft reopens it over 60 days, pitching it back. Very powerful, so I'm gonna go do that too. 